folks for the last couple of days, last three days to be exact. And Tyler was no different today. This is the warmest we've been in 2024. I know I have said that yesterday and the day before we are at 81 degrees. And guess what? You, you see a similarity here. So that's the low temperature. The normal high is 64, but that was our low this morning. Of course, we didn't break any records or anything like that. It does sometimes get warm in February, so no reason for alarm or anything, but we do have a front on the way, which will knock back those temperatures just a little bit as we move into tomorrow. Clear skies in Longview, and we've seen clear skies for most of this afternoon, and you can kind to make out the cold front right here. It's a dry cold front, which means we're not going to see any rain or anything, but you're starting to notice cooler temperatures to our northwest, including Sulphur Springs at 77, DFW is at 76. It's a bit cooler in Deep East Texas where they saw more hours of cloud cover. There's your front continuing to move off to the south and to the southeast. And as we move towards six o'clock, about 40 minutes away from right now, the front's going to move southeastward and that will bring in cooler and drier air for tonight. But it won't be that bad tomorrow morning. Temperatures will fall into the lower 50s with those clear skies out at seven, eight o'clock tomorrow morning. And then as we move into tomorrow afternoon, it's not going to be as warm as today, but still relatively warm compared to what we typically see at this time of the year. We'll be in the upper 60s and lower 70s and then Saturday morning I do expect it to be chilly. We will be in the 40s, but with light winds, it's not going to feel all that bad outside. 52 degrees overnight tonight. High temperatures in the upper 60s and lower 70s for tomorrow. And you can see slight risk of severe weather to our north on Tuesday. It doesn't include a lot of East Texas. There might be a sliver of Titus and Franklin County included, but the main bullseye of the storm is not on East Texas, luckily. And then as we move towards Wednesday, which again, folks, that's day seven. That's well to the north and to the northeast. We will have to watch this, but I don't expect widespread severe weather at this time. But this is the time of year, especially as we move into the first week of March here in the not too distant future, that we do need to start keeping an eye on those storm prediction center updates to have an idea of when we might see severe weather. But severe weather risk is low for next week, but the temperatures will be high, upper 70s and lower 80s. And then as we look at deep east Texas, same deal will be dry at least the next four or five days, but we'll be tracking those rain and storm chances next Tuesday and Wednesday. Casey Carson.